Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action, back in the saddle. Today, I want to use heartbeat moments to show you a video about long length partials. Now you're probably going, what in the heck is that Big C? And yes, as a guy who is out of shape and wants to get back into shape, and I want to get stronger, and I want to get stronger as quickly as possible, this video, it sort of resonated with me, and if you're someone that wants to get strong and fit and all those types of things, you're going to want to watch this, because Jeff Nippert, who's been doing this for years, and he is not only a natural bodybuilder, but I mean, the guy looks the part, he also brings in science into his training, and in this video, he's going to talk about long length partials, and how using these can make you stronger, faster. So join me in this. I'm going to give you the best moments using Heartbeat. Let's go. All right. So for those of you that are following along, feel free to join me at h.ki. And you'll see here when you go to my, when I go to my Heartbeat on the left here and I click on moments, I've got 11 or 12 moments from this video that I want to show you. Now this video has a lot of the, the good stuff is sort of jam packed at the beginning. So here we go. I'm going to click on the first one and I'm going to let it run for about 30 seconds so you can see what he's talking about. Here we go. Out of all the intensity techniques in the world, one has by far the most science behind it. And it's not drop sets. It's not forced reps or supersets or cheat reps. It's actually a technique called long length partials. Yep. And a lot of new evidence suggests that not only do long length partials beat out all those other techniques, they may also be even better than a standard full range of motion. That's what. Yeah, so this was the first uh, two moments actually combined there. Long length partials. Uh, he's going to show you what it is, but essentially, a guy like me who used to train in the gym a lot, I used to do lots of force reps and supersets and all these crazy techniques. Uh, and uh, yeah, this one looks like it's got the best scientific backing. Let's go ahead, skip forward a few seconds, and he'll show you exactly what these are. What exactly are long length partials? Well, they're pretty simple. Let's say you're doing a bicep curl. A full range of motion would be when you go all the way up and all the way down, taking the elbow from about zero degrees at the bottom to about 150 degrees at the top. Yeah. But we can split that full range of motion up into two halves. Doing curls in the top half would be short length partials because the biceps are more contracted. And doing curls in the bottom half would be long length partials because the biceps are more stretched. So in a sense, if you're doing an exercise, it's where the most stretch is. Wherever, whatever part of the exercise where the most stretch in the muscle is, in all cases, in almost all cases, if not all cases, that is where you begin the long length partial. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here at which half of the range of motion stretches the most, which is a continuation of this moment here. As you stretch a muscle, it gets longer, hence go. the name long length partials. So to figure out if a muscle is at a long length or not, just think about which half of the range of motion stretches the muscle the most. And that's the half you want. So there it is in a nutshell. Which half stretches the muscle the most? Now let's move forward a little bit here. And let's take a look at lat pull downs. And to be fair, it appears that I've been doing them wrong for all those years that I did them. So let's go forward to 129. Pull downs, a long length partial would look like this, where you only go about halfway down to your chest. And again, that's because the lats are more stretched at the top with the arms up overhead. And while most serious lifters still assume that a full range of motion is always best, over the last mm -hmm. few years, a growing pile of research has shown that it is in fact the stretched part of the range that triggers the most muscle growth, not full range of motion per se. All right, so there you go. So I used to train with a buddy named Mirko, and he used to yell at me when I would only go halfway down because I couldn't go any further. And he'd be like, Full range of motion, and then I would do that to him, and it looks like we may have been dead wrong. So there you go. That is what a lat pull down uh, looks like using the correct technique. Let's skip forward a little bit here to the seven of eight studies. There's now. It's one thing to say this is a good idea. It's another thing to cite at least some evidence. So here is the evidence. As of now, there are eight studies comparing long length partials to short length partials. Okay. And seven of those eight studies found that long length partials were better for muscle growth. One study found no difference and no studies favored short length partials. But okay, so this is the first set of studies. And if you want to, I'll put a link to his video in the description so you can go check out his, uh, check out the actual studies if you want to. Uh, but uh, here's the thing. This, keep in mind, this is long length versus short length partials. This is non, not long length partials versus full range of motion. Those are completely different. That's what he gets to in the next heartbeat moment. Let's click on that one. Not only are long length partials clearly better than short length partials, they might be better than full range of motion. 
right. at least in some cases. Now, in case it seems like I'm overstating the evidence here, I spoke with the world's leading researcher in this area, Dr. Milo Wolf, and he seemed just as excited about long length partials as me. Personally, in my own training for about nine or 10 months now, I've been doing exclusively length and partials for all of my hypertrophy work. What I've noticed when I, I speak about length and partials or anything that's like new and exciting in right. bodybuilding, there's a camp of people who are like, oh, this is the new sexy thing that everyone's talking about and I'm sure the hype will die down and this kind of thing. So there you go. So it may even be better than full range of motion, which is kind of crazy because you know, for years we've all been like, you got to go to the bottom. You start a squat at the top, you go all the way down, butt to the ground kind of thing. And that may not always be the right way to do it. Now, if we go further into this, the the best thing might be to go full range of motion as much as you can, which makes sense, and then go to the uh, long range partials. So keep that in mind. Uh, just something you want to think about for those of you advanced trainers or people that just you know, generally want to get stronger. So here are the two ways to use long length as a high intensity technique. He goes into great depth here at 355. Is I use long length partials in my current training. The first is as an intensity technique to extend the last yeah. set I do for a muscle beyond the typical failure point. So this makes perfect sense. And this is something that, you know, a lot of people intuitively understand is, hey, you know, if I can keep this bar moving, let's just keep it moving, even if I can't get to the top or to the bottom. Uh, so that is the first way. Uh, and the second way here is, uh, well, let's skip forward a few minutes here. He'll talk about how he uses it for the last rep of every set. And this is a different type of technique. Second way I use length and partials is not as an end of set intensity technique, but rather on every single rep of a wow. set. This is actually how I use them in my new pure bodybuilding program. On the last set of several exercises, we do long length partials on every rep of that set. This so this is a completely different way. Uh, I could I can see this working quite well because you can do full range of motion for your let's say you do three sets of twelve you do two sets full range range of motion to failure or close to and then the third set is long range partials so this is another idea for those of you and especially of those of you that are just looking for new ideas on how to spice up your training this is definitely one of them let's go ahead and look at him doing lengthen partials in action he shows how to do the smith gene smith machine chest press which i think is a great example of this so i've been playing around with lengthen partials on the smith machine press and man the pump you feel from these and the deep stretch you get is just fantastic and i've been experimenting with them on leg presses too and so far i do find the partial reps more enjoyable so there you go those are just two really good examples of using this uh, and notice there's no full range of motion it's just the hard part or just where the muscle is extended. The final thing I want to show you as a heartbeat moment is some of the mistakes that you want to avoid. Let's take a look at this one here. When it comes to mistakes, I'd say the biggest one I see is people just losing control when they start doing partial reps. It, this makes sense. Uh, you know, just don't be sloppy. That's really all he's trying to say here. You don't need to see much more than that. But a partial rep or a, is you got to maintain control at all parts of the training. Don't just use this as a throwaway and go super fast through them and ignoring the you know, ignoring the drop of the bar or, you know, the drop of the, or whatever. Just do it like a regular set. Do it like a regular rep. And that's it. So there you go, guys. This is Jeff Nippard's new intensity strength, intensity technique for muscle growth. It's a heartbeat moment, a set of moments. Let me know what you think in the comments below. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.